Hi there. Now for this question, the first part, we've got to solve the simultaneous equations y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 with the equation 10x plus 2y plus 11 equals 0 for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, let's just put the equations down. We've got y equals then 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. And the other equation, 10x plus 2y plus 11 equals 0. Now, both of these equations haven't got the same format. One's a quadratic equation this first one here, which I'll call 1, and the other one is a linear one, which I'll call equation 2. And because they haven't got the same pattern structure, here we've got an x squared, haven't got any x squareds in here, for instance, then the method I have to use is substitution. So what I'm going to do, because we've got equation 1 already um, given as y equals y being the subject, I'm going to just substitute this into equation 2. So just put a note here, and that is we'll sub equation 1 into equation 2. And if we do that, wherever we have a y, we now replace it with 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. So we therefore have 10x, okay, plus 2 times y, so we'll put 2 bracket, and then we'll have in place of y, 2x squared minus 3x minus 5, all right? And then we've got plus 11 equals 0. And so if we now expand the bracket, we're going to have 4x squared, and then minus 6x, and then minus 10, and then plus the 11, and that equals 0. And if we group up our terms, we've got just the 4x squared there. And then for the x terms, we've got 10x minus 6x, which is plus 4x. And then we've got minus 10 plus 11, which is plus 1. And that equals 0. So we've got our quadratic equation in the right format, it equals 0. So we can try and factorise it. And this one factorises very nicely, just a couple of factors turns out to be 2x there and 2x there to give us the 4x squared. And then for the 1, we just have plus 1 and plus 1 here. 1 times 1 is the 1. And then you've got 2x plus another 2x gives the 4x. So we know that each of these factors would equal 0. Well, they're both the same, so therefore we've got 2x plus 1 would equal 0. And from this, it would follow that x would equal minus a half if we subtract 1 from both sides and then divide by 2. OK, so we've got our value for x. We just now need to go on and get our value for y. And to do that, x equals minus a half, it would seem sensible just to substitute in equation 1 because it gives us y directly. Or you could substitute into 2, but you'll need to rearrange it. Up to you. So I'm going to say sub x equals minus a half into equation 1. And if we do that, we therefore have that y is going to equal 2 times x squared, x being minus a half. So it's minus a half all squared. Minus 3 times x, 3 times minus a half. And then finally, minus 5. And if you work this out, you should find that you end up with 2 times a quarter here, which is going to be a half. And then we've got plus 3 over 2. And then minus 5. And if you add this up, it comes to minus 3. So summarising, we've therefore got x equals minus a half and y equaling minus 3. OK, so in part 2 now, it says, what can you deduce from the answer to part 1 about the curve y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 and the line 
10x plus 2y plus 11 equals 0 for one mark. So just give you a moment to think about that one if you want, OK? OK, well, what did you come up with? Well, we've only got one solution here. And what this means is that from a graphical point of view, when you're solving simultaneous equations, this line only crosses the curve once. Well, in fact, it touches because this is a parabola and our line will only touch the parabola, which means it's a tangent. And I've got a graph here, not that you expected to draw this, but it might illustrate this. The red curve is the quadratic curve, y equals 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. And the blue line is the line 10x plus 2y plus 11 equals 0. And you can see it touches at this point here where x is minus a half and y is minus 3. So the answer then is the line okay, is a tangent. And hopefully you're able to see that through. Okay.